We are here to draw attention to the many injustices that are taking place in this country that our government has refused to address. UWP supporters adorned in orange clothing staged a mini-protest at the government buildings to demonstrate their displeasure with the SLP administration's policies. The orange protest took a new turn Monday with the delivery of a letter to the office of the Prime Minister. We have in the past appealed to the government to no avail. We have written to the government to no avail. Today, I delivered a letter to the Prime Minister's office appealing once again to the Prime Minister that something be done. And when I talk about the injustices, I'm talking about the 2.5 percent that was deceitfully imposed upon St. Lucians in the guise of uh, a levy for health and security. Two of the areas that, that has never been worse than it is now. We are, we are bringing his attention to the injustices that are taking place in the health sector, which was described by the St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association as the worst that it has ever been. We are, we are protesting against the high cost of living. We are protesting against the high cost of gasoline at a time when the, the price of gas on the international market has gone down to at least 70 US dollars per barrel and we have gas at 16.50. Violent crime and the CIP program topped the list of UWP grievances. We are protesting against the crime situation in this country, where St. Lucians are being gunned down, not just on the streets, but in their very homes, where we have a situation where year after year we have over 70 homicides taking place in this country with no tangible reaction from the government, nothing to quell the situation. We are also protesting the level of corruption that is taking place in government, namely the CIP program, where we are seeing a, a mind-blowing, mind-boggling scandal taking place where billions of dollars are, are, being, are being squandered. St. Lucian's not benefiting from it. St. Lucian's not being told how that our patrimony is being sold in that manner and we have no benefit for it. We're also concerned about what is happening in the ports. So the ports, yes, and the passports. Public Relations Officer of the United Workers' Party, Leonard Montout, maintains that it was not a demonstration, but rather a group of concerned citizens expressing their views. It is not any protest that is taking place. It is a, a number of St. Lucians who are concerned about what is happening, who are taking a stand, you know, and so some of our people passed by the CIP office this morning and in passing by, the, let the sentiments be known about what is happening in the CIP program. We are concerned about the healthcare situation, we are concerned about the crime situation, we are concerned about the high cost of living, the high price of gas, and so we have to let our feelings be heard, be heard and let the government know that enough is enough and we will not continue to stay idly by and allow it to continue. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, reacting to the UWP, declined to make any more pronouncements on the CIP. I have a lot of things to do. I have a country to run. I have a country to run that is in a situation where we so many positive things are happening in this country that sometimes I say to myself that we have to manage what's happening in terms of the number of positive things happening in this country. In October, the opposition urged supporters and the entire nation to join them as they canvassed the country in an orange protest campaign to denounce the policies of the SLP administration. Members have since gathered on Shosi Road in the Ancillary Canaries constituency, visited the CIP offices and the Graham Louise building. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.